In 2008, China's youngest generation will have the chance to prove their talent, their spirit, and dedication on behalf of their country. For China will be hosting the Olympic Games for the first time ever. 想到了奥运会, we all want to be an Olympic champion. We all want to be the best in the world. I very much hope that I will be a member of the Olympic team. I hope I can win a gold medal for China. Like almost all of her generation, Jin Yang is an only child. But at 12 years old, she is already one of China's top athletes. Out of tens of millions of school children across the country, she is one of an elite of just 300, who spend their days here in Beijing's Shichahai Gymnastics School. Here, children as young as four are in training six days a week, six hours a day. Jin Yang and her fellow gymnasts were first picked out for Olympic glory when they were barely out of diapers. I was only about two years old. I was in nursery school then. A coach called Chen Bo Meng came to our nursery to choose new candidates for her gymnastic team. We were too young to really know what was going on. When it was my turn, I just jumped as high as I could. So intense is Jin Yang's training, she and her fellow gymnasts have to board at the school, even if their family homes are in Beijing. This is Wang Erman's bed. Her family is quite well off, but she's a bit of a slow coach. I don't like her very much. I really don't like her. She's the messiest person in our room. Her bed is always untidy. I don't like her. She's lazy. She doesn't even wash her socks. This is for my parents. They kept it at home, and now my father has washed it and brought it here for me. So whenever I feel homesick, I just cuddle my bear and think of them. At Jin Yang's family home on the other side of Beijing, her father has built a shrine to his only child. <laughs> Naturally, I'll be more than delighted if she wins the Olympic gold in 2008. These are all the prizes my daughter has already won. But beyond these, I'm convinced she can win even greater prizes. In just a few weeks, Jin Yang will have to perform in front of China's Olympic selectors. They will then decide if she could be good enough for the Olympic squad. She's been put on a punishing training regime, especially for one so young. But Jin Yang is spurred on by a powerful sense of national pride. I'm proud to be Chinese. If I win a world championship title, I will not only be very happy for myself, I will also have won honors for my country, and everyone will be happy then. Six days a week, six hours a day, she is in training. Her goal? 
to win a place on China's Olympic gymnastics squad. There's just three weeks to go before the first round of selection. Here, there's no time for play, for gossip in the playground, no candy, no treats, nothing of the ordinary life of a 12-year-old. Except for one snatched moment on the weekend. Every Saturday afternoon, Jin Yang's father takes his daughter out for a few hours of fun. Jin Yang's favorite day out is a ride on the biggest roller coaster in Beijing. She loves anything that's thrilling. I think it's all got something to do with being a gymnast. She's got guts from her training. Maybe sometimes she gets a bit afraid for a moment, but once she's used to it, she's fine. It's fun and exciting. You're carried high up to the top, and the next thing you know, you're diving down. When I am at the top of the roller coaster, it feels just like being on the parallel bars in the gym. But even in their few hours together, Jin Yang's father keeps his daughter on a strict training regime. Like so many Chinese children, Jin Yang is an only child, and she has always been the focus of her father's ambitions. When I first started training, no one in the family wanted me to continue. They all thought it was too harsh for me. Except my dad. For all the hard work she's put into her training, from the bottom of my heart, I'm really proud of where she's got to. But I feel uncomfortable when I think how hard I was on her. When she was not achieving her best. Once, after the Chinese New Year's holiday was a bit too long, she said, "Daddy, I don't ever want to go back to the academy." But I told her that if she gave up, all her hard work would have been wasted. I then beat her. I shouldn't have been so hard on her when she was so young. At six o'clock Sunday evening, Jin Yang has to head back to the academy. It's the only life she has ever known. All the students at Shichia High have learned to withstand hardship. They train with sprained and broken limbs when their hands are blistered and bleeding. Jin Yang is still haunted by memories of her early days. When I was little, I was really, really scared. 
Most of all, I was scared of being forced to stretch my legs over and over again. Sometimes I felt I was doing the same thing all afternoon. Like all the students, Xin Yang has regular checkups with the academy's physician. Gymnasts have the hardest training programs of all athletes. They train beyond normal endurance on what the body can bear. Complete freedom from pain is impossible. So physically, our children must develop a very high pain threshold. And mentally, they must also become incredibly tough. But with only days to go before the first round of selections for the national team, it's clear to Xinyang what's at stake. The culmination of 10 years pain and hardship and of her father's greatest dreams. I'd be so happy if I made it to the national team, but I think my dad would be even happier. Dad says, if life is easy, there is nothing to remember when you get old. He says only if there is bitterness with the sweetness, tears, as well as smiles, will I have great memories to look back on. Far to the south, in the People's Stadium in Gurgio City, there is no time for gifts and greetings. Twelve-year-old Jin Yang is about to face the biggest test of her life. 132 young athletes from all over China have been gathered behind closed doors to face the toughest judges in the country. This is the first round of selection for the national gymnastics team and the 2008 Olympic squad. Jin Yang has been entered in four events. The horse, the floor, the beam, and the bars. Unknown to her, her father has also traveled over a thousand miles from their home in Beijing to be here. He cannot bear to miss this moment. She's really going to be feeling the pressure, more psychologically than physically. She's never competed at such a high level before. And she's never had to perform all four disciplines. But I think the psychological demand is much higher than the physical one. Jin Yang's coach has been working with her for three years. He knows just how much is at stake here. If she fails today, it could destroy her confidence, which will have a serious impact on her performance in the selection process. This is the moment Jin Yang will discover if she's got what it takes to compete on behalf of an entire nation. After two hours waiting on the floor, Jin Yang is called forward. She bows to the judges who will now decide her fate. Although she has no idea her father is here, he's nervously filming her every move. Jin Yang's first event is the horse. Speed, height, and grace in landing are what the judges are looking for. Her jump is perfect but her landing is heavily faulted. Mm -hmm. 
Jin Yang launches immediately into her floor routine. She quickly finds her rhythm. Jin Yang's floor performance will earn an excellent score. But next is the beam. This is the one routine she has been dreading. When I'm on the beam, it's like standing on the head of a nail or walking on springs. It's not that I'm bad. I just get really scared when I'm up there. The pressure begins to tell. On her first forward somersault, disaster strikes. Jin Yang climbs straight back onto the beam. She can't possibly give up now. But her concentration has been badly shaken. It's a terrible performance that could seriously damage her chances of selection. But Jin Yang has one more opportunity to prove herself on the uneven bars. If she is to have any chance of getting through, she now has to produce a near perfect performance. Under huge pressure, she holds her nerve It's a superb performance. She did pretty well. Not bad at all. But after her earlier mistakes, there's no guarantee that this will be enough to see Jin Yang through. As the judges compile and compare everyone's results, she receives one small consolation. Yeah. Neither her father nor her coach pull their punches. Jin Yang has to wait a full two hours before the judges have tallied all the scores. Pinned on a notice board in a back corridor are their final verdicts. Father and daughter have no idea what to expect. Jin Yang's performance on the bars has scored enough to put her through to the next round of selection. 
she is one step closer to her dream. I never stop thinking about the Olympics in 2008, especially the moment when I hold up the gold medal. Sometimes I get tears in my eyes when I think about it, but I know I'll have to take it one day at a time. For Jin Yang, a childhood sacrificed for a chance of Olympic glory is a price worth paying. If you just sit around, you won't get anywhere. Life won't give you a gold medal for nothing. We all want to be the best in the world. I very much hope that I will be a member of the Olympic team. I hope I can win a gold medal for China. Like almost all of her generation, Jin Yang is an only child. But at 12 years old, she is already one of China's top athletes. Out of tens of millions of school children across the country, she is one of an elite. A coach called Chen Boming came to our nursery to choose new candidates for her gymnastic team. We were too young to really know what was going on. When it was my turn, I just jumped as high as I could. So intense is Jin Yang's training, she and her fellow gymnasts have to board at the school, even if their family homes are in Beijing. This is Wang Erman's bed. Her family is quite well off, but she's a bit of a slow coach. I don't like her very much. I really don't like her. She's the messiest person in our room. Her bed is always untidy. I don't like her. She's lazy. She doesn't even wash her socks. Of just 300. Who spend their days here, in Beijing's Shichahai Gymnastic School. Here, children as young as four are in training six days a week, six hours a day. Jin Yang and her fellow gymnasts were first picked out for Olympic glory when they were barely out of diapers. I was only about two years old. I was in nursery school then. In 2008, China's youngest generation will have the chance to prove their talent, their spirit, and dedication on behalf of their country. For China will be hosting the Olympic Games for the first time ever. We all want to be an Olympic champion.